Hey guys, welcome. In this video we're going to cover the banner management functionality uh, within your Evolution website. So, as you will be aware at this point, um, this really is banner management done right. Um, and of course we have banners that we can control on the home page. But as Buzz Lightyear may have said, to the home page and beyond. Sorry, no more jokes in this video. So we can take banner management into the product as well as showing banners on the home page. So this looks like a fairly standard Evolution store. You've got a nice banner in the central column here. But let's say, for example, you wanted to add a banner to the left-hand column. And we want to add a banner directing people to the Facebook page, this company's or your company's Facebook page. So we go into the admin panel. Uh, from the start menu, we go ahead and click on Sales and Marketing Manager. And we want to add a new banner. So we're going to call this the Facebook banner. Click Save. It's going to provision that. Um, each banner has a priority number. It's very important for a start and end date to be entered. That's because all banner content is date sensitive. And that's really cool actually because um, you could effectively set up a whole quarter or a whole year's worth of banners in advance. And providing you've got the start and end date synced properly, then old banners will fade out as the new banners fade in. So we'll go ahead and add um, a start and end date. So I want this to start way back in 08 and finish in 012, just for the sake of being quick. You can also type those dates in manually in the month, day, year format. Um, so I've set a, a date range for the banner. I want to go ahead and click Save again. And now I want to upload the banner itself. So we do that under the Image tab. So I'm going to go Image, browse to the new banner that we want to upload. And so I'm going to pick this one here, the Facebook banner. When you're uploading static banners just like images or ping files, JPEGs, GIFs, you can just leave the height and width field blank because the system's going to automatically populate those values. And we go ahead and click Save. Give the, second, the system a few seconds to upload. Come back to the Image tab. And we've now got the Facebook banner. So we've got a banner pr provision, got a start and end date, and we've added the banner itself. Now we need to decide what happens or where on the website the banner shows up. So that's done under the Location tab. So we want to have this in the left-hand column is this column here on the website that is the center column and on a three column design there will be a right column over here somewhere but in this case we want to add it to the left hand column so we want to say left column save then we go back to the information tab look at our priority number and that decides what order that banner comes in the left hand column so for example left column priority one is going to be the first banner in the left column. Priority 2 is going to be underneath that, 3 underneath that, and so on and so forth. So that's how you position banners on the website. It's a combination of the location tab and the priority number. Okay, so we've kind of got everything we need here. Um, we just need to go ahead and refresh the home page. And boom! You've now got a nice Facebook banner on the website. Wasn't that easy? So we have an, an, another decision to make. We have to decide what happens when people click on this banner. So again, there's a few things we can do there. So if we go back to banner management, we could redirect them to a URL. That could be somewhere in the website. It could be a product page, category page. Or in this case, we might want to punch them out and link them to our Facebook page. So I would just, as an example, put a hyperlink in here to Facebook. It's really important, guys, to add the HTTP colon slash slash at the front of the URL. If you don't do that, it won't work. So we go ahead and click Save. Back to the home page. Refresh. So now when we click on the Facebook banner, it's going to take us straight to Facebook.com because that's what we told the system to do. So that's an example of how you can link the banner to any URL. Now, there is another option, and that is, okay, we want to build a custom page behind this banner that's absolutely specific to the products or the promotion being offered. So the way that you do that is you get rid of the URL, redirect, and hit save to make sure that's been cleared. 
You then go to the banner text page. Okay, this is where you can add some header text to this product page. So we, let's say this is a page, and I'm going to use a really bad example here about um, files and folders. Okay, so we call this great deals on files and folders. And we can spend a bit of time with this, upload images, make it look nice and pretty. But just for the sake of getting through this video, I'm going to put some text on the page and go ahead and click Save. And then I want to add some products to that page, guide the customer to the products that I want them to see behind that banner. So we do that by clicking Add Update Item. So you start typing the product code and the system's going to auto-populate after the third or fourth character. And I want to select that product there go ahead and click save and I want to select another product from that list which is this one here it's really important guys as a system wide tip when you're entering item codes it's always going to give you the drop down and you must select the product from the drop down or it won't select the item so there's a real good top tip that goes system wide um, so let's add some more um, so let me go back and find some more folders yeah, okay, we'll have these ones too. Click Save. So we've now got a page that says, hey, great deals on files and folders that has these two files and folders underneath them, these two items. So if we go back to home page and we refresh again and we click through on the banner itself, instead of taking us to Facebook, it's now taking us to this super custom landing page that we've just built it took us 60 seconds that's got some great header text and some products behind that page so think about that think about the possibilities where you've got an unlimited ability to create custom landing pages and do it all in a really simple non-technical way that takes 60 seconds we're really excited about custom landing pages behind banners and that's how easy it is to do um, one more thing I want you guys to see on banners so again harking back to the dreadful Buzz Lightyear joke you can make banners show up within the website so there's a few different options for that we're going to look at those option number one is you can link a banner to a category or a or a subset of categories and um, in this case we want to say okay every time somebody clicks on office supplies binders and binding systems and all subcategories of that main category we would like the Facebook banner to show up. So again we go ahead and click save and we come back to the website and we refresh. This time if we go office supplies, binders and binding systems it's going to bring up the subcategories underneath that but it's pushing the Facebook banner because again that's what we asked the system to do and then for every subcategory underneath that it's also pushing the Facebook banner so that's a great example of where you can take banner management into the product the last thing I want to show you guys is that you can also assign banners to keyword searches so we could say make this banner show up every time somebody searches for copy paper or any other combination of keywords no real limit to what you can do here so if we go ahead and click save this time when we search for copy paper it's going to bring back the normal results for that um, search but it's also pushing the Facebook banner right to the top of the search results now again think about the potential of that so you don't only you've not only got multiple home page positions you've got thousands of categories and an almost limitless combination of keywords where you can assign banners where people can click on that banner and go to products and services that you would like them to see pushing the items that you want them to buy into all these different areas of the website so that's banner management I hope you guys have found that interesting and we'll see you again on the next video